After an extensive video search, which is still in progress, we have found footage of a person we believe to be the suspect in this murder. I'm going to play you two video clips. The first will show the person in dark coloured clothing and dressed to avoid identification, walking south on Monroe Street. This location is north of Mr Gibson's residence and in total about a minute or two walking distance away. The footage shown shows a timestamp of 3.20 p.m. The second clip shows the same person running north on Monroe Street away from the crime scene. The timestamp on this shows 3.56 p.m. We believe this person may have gotten into a vehicle that traveled north on Monroe towards Gerard Street. I'd like members of the public to look carefully at the hat that this person is wearing. We believe it may be a Detroit baseball cap with a distinctive pattern on the top side of its peak. It appears to be very recognizable ball cap and we are asking anyone who recognizes this, person's, this person and the clothing and wearing this cap to call us either directly at 416-808-7400, that's the Homicide Squad, or anonymously at Crime Stoppers at 416-808-TIPS. This investigation is moving forward and we are appealing to those who may know this person to call us and provide information. In the first footage that you see with the, the person coming down, the video actually shows him putting on gloves and he's fully masked up. Um, Somebody's going to know that person. Somebody who uh, lives near, in and around the community that person's from will know that person. And I'm asking those people to give us a call either directly at my desk. You mentioned the gloves. Could you just take us through, describe a little better what it is that we're looking at? Well, this footage is from a, a, a security camera on Monroe Street, north of where uh, Mr. Gibson lives. Um, when the person enters the, uh, the screen, you can see he's putting on gloves, his hands are up, his face is covered. Uh, the, mo the most identifiable part of the dis this description is the baseball cap. We've looked at it a thousand times and, and uh, when we've slowed it down frame by frame, we believe it may be a Detroit a uh, uh, baseball cap with a very unique pattern on the top. We've had a look through the internet and we've found a hat that um, does fit that, but again, it's, it's, um, it's what we think this time. So, um, obviously the rest of the clothing is very nondescript. And uh, obviously uh, on the second clip, he's running away at a high, uh, high speed coming through your video now from left to right. And we believe just north of that location he got into a vehicle. It's a one-way street, so uh, the only exit will be up at uh, Gerard Street, either going east or west. Have you been speaking to the, uh, to the victim's family, uh, you know, giving them updates as they go, and can you just give us an update on how they're doing and, and how they're feeling about that this, this killer? Oh, they're devastated, as always, um, despite uh, what people have uh, have looked into Marcus's lifestyle and background. Marcus is, uh, is a son, he's a, a brother, uh, he's a father, and he's, uh, he's surrounded himself with a lot of very good friends, and the family is uh, a very good people. Uh, of course, they're very upset, and they're uh, struggling to, to look forward and, and, and find ways to deal with this. So we are keeping in touch with them, and we have a, a good rapport with them. They're being very helpful.